A common question I'm asked is, what is my favorite game engine? So I thought I'd answer that by putting game engines into a tier list, you know, because these are the only game engines in the world. Unity. First of all, the company sucks pretty much since 2020. They went public back in 2020, which means they are owned and controlled by investors who don't really care about the tech or its users. They just wanna make as much money as possible. So there's been a few questionable things happen, like, I don't know, Unity firing half of their employees without notice. But the engine itself is honestly pretty good. I'll put it in B. All of these like high level company decisions don't really have anything to do with the people actually developing the game engine. I don't think it excels at anything in particular, but it's definitely the most flexible game engine right now. And in my opinion, probably the best engine for starting out just cause you can do pretty much anything with it. So yeah, that's my hot take on Unity. And speaking of controversy, Buildbox. You probably have never heard of Buildbox because they're pretty irrelevant. But they're a game engine that kind of blew up on TikTok because they're like an easy to use mobile game creation tool. So things were going pretty well for them, but I guess they got a little greedy and updated their revenue share policy to take 70% of revenue from anyone on their free plan. Even people who already had games in mid development. I guess they thought they could be slick with it, but Twitter found out and canceled them. Yeah, they're definitely going in F tier. Godot. Fun fact, the icon for Godot was actually designed by my nephew. He's seven years old. I think he did a really good job with it. Okay, but seriously, Godot is kind of killing it right now. I'll probably put them in A tier just because they are probably better or on par with Unity for 2D games. For 3D, they're not quite there, but they're definitely in a positive direction, while Unity is in a not so positive direction. Unreal Engine. Now, I think Unreal Engine is the best game engine for a specific type of game. They kind of know their strengths. I'll probably put them up there with Godot. Godot's kind of dominating 2D and Unreal's kind of dominating 3D. And then Unity kind of does it all, but not as well. Amazon Lumberyard, that's an easy F tier. Uh, Source. You know, I've actually never seen a bad game made with Source. So Game Maker Studio used to be the king of 2D, I'd say, but Godot is kind of eating them alive. But you know, it's still pretty solid. I'll put it in B tier. All right, Construct. I don't know if people who use Construct are just wizards or if Construct is just the most OP thing in the world. Cause I'll see game devs on like Twitter, like, Salman Shuri, uh, Vimlark, who will make a game for like a game jam in like five hours. It's just the most like polished, like beautiful thing in the world. So much visual feedback. I don't understand how construct developers do this. It definitely seems a bit limited. Like you wouldn't be able to expand into 3D. I know the scripting is pretty limited, but I think it knows what it's good for and does that really well. So I'll put it in B. It's also not free, which kind of nerfs it. Okay, then the last two, RPG Maker, S tier, Scratch, S tier, no question there. This is my game engine tier list. Let me know if you disagree with any of it. And I'm posting one of these every day, so comment your question below and I might answer it in the next video.